Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're going to continue discussing Rose Mallet's 5300 series of guided wave radar level transmitters. Now, if you missed the last episode, I encourage you to go check that out. In that video, we looked at how we utilize these transmitters in interface applications. Today, we're going to run through some of the advantages of using a guided wave radar level transmitter. Primary advantages is that a guided wave radar is virtually unaffected by changing process conditions. This is a big advantage compared to other level technologies. For instance, ultrasonic level transmitters are typically troubled in high vaporous conditions or changes in temperatures of the atmosphere. Pressure based level measurements are dependent on the product's density or its specific gravity. And if the density changes, the level transmitter will be off by that accordingly. Guided wave radars are not affected by these changes. So what's a guided wave radar affected by? Well, that would be the dielectric constant of the product in the vessel. And the great thing about a constant is it is constant. So despite the density or the temperature changes within the process, that does not impact the dielectric constant of the material. So what about the vapor space? What if we have some off gas or what if we have some nitrogen blanketing? Well, that's not gonna impact the guided wave radar. How is that the case? Well, like I said, the dielectric constant is what impacts guided wave radars and all gases have a dielectric constant very close to one, which means it has no impact on the measurement. And that's how we can use guided wave radars in high vaporous condition applications. Now, if you have any questions about Rose Mountain's 5300 series of guided wave radars or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.